In this RubberCow how-to video, we'll be showing you how to cut your flooring rubber rolls. Correctly cutting your rolls can ensure that you end up with a smooth and level rubber surfacing. Cutting a rubberized flooring roll is easy, but there are a few things you'll need before you can get started. We recommend the use of gloves and knee pads to protect yourself while working. Cut your floor rubber with a utility knife. Make sure you have plenty of extra blades. Use a T-square ruler to make straight cuts, and a piece of chalk to mark where to cut. In order to make clean and smooth cuts against your rubber flooring, you'll need to use a T-square ruler to properly denote a straight line. Ideally, your ruler should run the full width of your rubber rubbers. Because rubber surfacing is so tough and resilient, you'll have to run your utility knife over it a few times before cutting all the way through. This process is called scoring. Sometimes, you won't be cutting horizontally along your rubber runners. Diagonal lines are a bit tricky, but can still be done with great precision. Utilizing a piece of chalk to clearly mark the path on which your blade should travel will make the process easier. Your T-square ruler might not fully reach a diagonal angle, so clearly marking the path with chalk will help you move the ruler along as you begin to cut your flooring roll. As you begin to cut, apply a good amount of pressure as you carefully run your knife through the rubber surface. Remember to score by running your utility blade over and over an initial cut to ensure that you've made it all the way through. Although our handyman is not using gloves to cut this rollout floor, we recommend that you do. These are trained professionals with years of experience. For more detailed instructions, please refer to the Rubber Cow installation guide.